Hey! So it was requested to me on Tumblr that I do an Alice and Queen of Hearts video next. So that is what you're going to get from me today. So this is my Alice inspired look and my Queen of Hearts inspired look. Also, please don't mind that I sound a little bit stuffy today. My allergies have been really bad. So yeah, these are two looks inspired by the characters. These are not meant to like look like how they looked in the animated movies, but it is inspired by that. Look at that. My kitty scratched my face. How mean is that? Now, you have seen me do these natural makeup sort of looks a million times at this point, so I kind of rushed through Alice here. I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I have a little sample of it, and I just love it. You know, because I don't have a blonde wig, and I obviously don't have blonde hair, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows like I usually do, using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in granite. And this is how I do it. Like, I make it, I draw, like, really dark lines through the middle of my eyebrows, and then I really, really, really buff it out with the spoolie, and then with some makeup remover on a cotton swab, I just clean up the edges, and then I go over my eyebrows again with my uh, Blink Cosmetics Eyebrow Mousse in black, and that's how I do my eyebrows every day. And then I'm going to take my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer, I mean foundation, and I'm going to go all over my face with that just to even out my skin tone and make me look all nice and pretty like Alice's. Now with my e.l.f. Double Ended Concealer Highlighter in Fair, I'm going to take the concealer side all under my eyes in this big triangle shape, and then I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender. And then, of course, you have to set your under eye concealer, so I'm going to be setting that with the Sephora Collection Bright Set. It's the yellow pressed powder. Do I love this powder? Nah, not really. Am I going to keep using it because I bought it and I can't really return it at this point? Yes. Now, for my eyes, I'm going to be keeping it very, very natural looking, so I'm using my e.l.f. Mineral Primer, like I always do, and just blending that out with my fingers, and then I'm going into the Naked 2 Basics palette, and I'm going to be using the shade Frisk first, and I'm putting that all up in my crease with a blending brush, and then I'm just patting the shade Stark, which is basically my skin tone on the lid, and I'm blending that all together with a big puffy blending brush after. And now I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Mineral Eyeliner in the shade Midnight, so it's like a navy color. I'm going to be lining my eyes with that, try, really trying to make it thicker on the outside and thinner on the inside, but not winning, not winging it, just try, try, try to make it like, think of it as like an isosceles triangle that is laying on one of the long sides, just like really accentuate the eyes. And then of course curl your eyelashes, and I use my, um, my CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom Mascara, that's the pink bottle. Apply it generously on your top lashes and a little bit on your bottom lashes. And then using my Duo Glue and these, like, already, they come already separate, uh, Joe Fresh, what are they called? False Lashes. I'm applying just the inner two sections because it'll help open my eyes. See, there's, like, a big difference there between the left eye and the right eye. Just kind of, like, I don't know, it's like a natural way of making your eyes look more open. Now I'm going to go into my Naked Flushed palette. I have the Streak set, and so I'm going to be using all three here. I'm going to be using the bronzer shade first and doing that big three shape down the side of my face, across my forehead, on my cheekbones, and then across my jawbone. And then I'm going to be taking a very, very little amount of the blush because it is such an electric pink, and Alice is a very natural looking kind of girl. Just a very little bit. I'm going to be brushing that from my apples back, and then I'm going to take the highlight shade that is in this palette and use that on my brow bone. Now I'm going to be using my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder, and I'm just like pushing that in all around my nose because I felt like my nose was really, really shiny. And I'm going to be using, finally on my lips, my Milani, my Milani Lip Liner in the shade Spice. And over it, I'm going to be using the my MAC Lipstick in Speed Dial. Honestly, I bought Speed Dial online, and so when I got it in the mail, it was like much pinker than I thought it would be. So I actually don't like it without spice underneath it. I feel like it's too light for me, but with spice underneath it, it looks really nice. So that is my completed Alice look. It's a very natural, normal look. You guys have seen me do looks like that a million times at this point. So now we're going to get into the more fun stuff with the Queen of Hearts. So for the Queen of Hearts, I decided to start with my eyebrows done the same way I always do them, same way I did them in Alice's video, so I just thought I would save you the time. I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer, and I'm going to be putting that on the tops of my cheeks, because as you know, I get really, really super dry there. And then I realized I hadn't put my hair up yet, so I did that. And I'm just taking my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. I love it. And I'm putting it all over my face. I'm doing it a little bit thicker than I usually do, so I go back in and do a couple of layers, just so I really get a nice, even, flawless finish. I have to fix up my eyebrow a little bit there, because I kind I mess it up. And then I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Primed and Portless Powder, and I'm taking that mainly on my forehead and down my T-zone, areas that I know get really shiny, and I just want to really mattify them, because she's, she, I always felt like she'd have like a really matte, really made up kind of look. 
So now taking this scotch tape and putting it on my hand first so I get sort of some of that stickiness so I don't take off all my foundation with it. I'm going to put this beside my eyes because we are going to do quite, quite a crazy eye look. So first I'm going to take this Flower Cosmetics like eyeshadow mousse. This is in the shade Awesome Blossom. I'm going to put that all over my eyelids because the red eyeshadow I went for is not as deep red as I wanted it to be. Um... I don't know. It is so hard to find red eyeshadow. Have you ever looked for it? It is so hard. Unless I want to order from Sugar Pill. And, like, I'm not about ordering for, you know, one video. So I'm wetting this brush here. And I'm just kind of squishing out all the excess water. And I'm going into the only red eyeshadow on the planet, apparently. This is the Sephora Collection eyeshadow in Cherry on Top. And I'm just patting this in all over my eyelid on top of that uh, Flower Cosmetics base. We are just... I'm patting away, getting it as red as possible, and then leave it to dry for a little bit, and then go in with a dry brush and, like, the dry parts of the eyeshadow and go in over top just so you really, really intensify the red. And then I'm going into my Tarte Tartlet Pal Palette, and first I'm using the shade Power Player, and I'm just using, like, a little blendy brush, and I'm putting this on the outer V of my eye, and then I'm going in that same area with the shade Fashionista, just to kind of darken it up and create some, some depth over there in that section of my eye, you know. So, just so it's not just a red lid, you know? So there's a little, a little more something, something going on. And now for the eyeliner, I'm going to be using both of my Essence eyeliners this time around. So first I'm taking the liquid liner. And I'm essentially creating a line following the edge of that tape from the corner of my eye out. And then I'm going to be lining my top lash line. Don't bring it in like a cat eye. That's not what we're about right now. We're just creating like an angle. <laughs> an angle like you would see in math class or you would create on a protractor. Then we're going to go in with the eyeliner felt pen. And basically what we're going to do here is we're going to bring it in a little bit, but we're going to create a line in my crease. So we're basically outlining my eyelid because we're going to go in all through the crease and then we're going to bring it down to the tear duct. Kind of like that. See? See that look that we have there? And then I'm going to put some makeup remover on a little cotton swab and clean up the outside edge at the top. Now, my camera decided to delete this whole next clip, so I redid my eye makeup so I could show you what was lost basically. So take the tape off, clean up any gunk that got underneath, and then with my Hard Candy Glamouflage uh, concealer, which I don't love, but it is very, very high coverage, I uh, kind of cover all the blueness that I have under my eyes and, you know, really, really blend it out because it is so thick. And then I'm using my Sephora Collection Bright Powder to set that. And then I'm going to be taking the uh, Essence Felt Tip Eyeliner Pen. I'm going to be lining my bottom lash line right from the tear duct out to the sort of cat eye and then we're going to go in the tear duct area and drag it down kind of mimicking the same angle that we did on the outside edge if that makes sense now back to the original video Okay, so here's where I decided to try to get a little bit artsy, and it ended up and it ended up not working out very well. So what I did was I tried to use the uh, Essence eyeliner pen to draw little cards going from my 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 eyelid crease to the sort of cat eye that we drew at the back. And basically, the little tip on the end of this eyeliner brush is really not thin enough, and it's not pigmented enough. So the cards themselves look fine, but like the, the Q for the queen and the A for the ace I tried to draw inside really didn't show up enough. So if I did this again, I would use a very, very high pigmented, like a, like a gel eyeliner or like a body paint. But, you know, I didn't think it looked terrible, so I, I left them there. Now curl your eyelashes and apply a generous amount of mascara to the top lashes and the bottom lashes. And then I'm going in with my uh, Tarte Close-Up Lash Liner, and I'm just, you know, really going ham in that waterline there, really darkening everything up. And then I didn't want to contour at all, but I decided to use a little bit of con the contour color from my e.l.f. Uh, contour kit, just down the sides of my nose, just to help thin it out. And then I even took some of the sparkly highlight shade from in there on my brow bone. And in my tear duct a little bit too as well. Huh? Now here's where everything goes to hell. So I bought these really, really crazy intense falsies from Walmart. And it really turns out that the band on these falsies is really not very movable. They didn't want to stick down. I consider myself very, very good with false, la false lashes, and these were just so hard. The edges kept popping up, and then I kept trying to fix them, and it would make my eyes water, and then makeup started to run. So realistically, I could have just gone with like regular falsies, or maybe just bit the bullet and bought maybe nicer quality false lashes. Overall, I do not recommend these falsies, even though they look awesome. So now I decided to turn this like mole on my face here into a little heart, just with the Essence uh, eyeliner pen. 
I don't know why. I just thought it seemed like fun, and she's the queen of hearts, so why not add as many hearts as possible? So I'm just, you know, drawing the heart shape around this mole and filling it in. Why not? I like its placement, too, you know what I mean? It's not covered by the falsies, but it's by my eye. And now I'm using my uh, Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer, and I'm just rubbing a little bit of this all over my lips, and then I'm going to set it with my Too Faced Powder. And then, I am not very good at drawing hearts, so it's a good thing I did that mole one. It was like a practice <laughs> a practice shot. But I'm going to take my Milani Lip Liner in Spice and draw a heart shape, you know, following my Cupid's bow and then bringing it down to my bottom lip, really filling it in and trying to get that shape as perfect as possible. And then I go in with the NARS... Uh, I think they're called Velvet Matte Lip Pencils. And this one's in the shade Cruella. <laughs> How fitting for me, Cruella. And uh, this is actually the one that you get as a free gift on your birthday at Sephora. So don't think I splurge. NARS products are usually way too expensive for me, but yeah. And so that is my completed Queen of Hearts look. Minus the eyelashes not working for me. I really I, I really like how it turned out, I'll be honest. It was kind of adventurous and fun for me. So whether you go with the Sweet and Innocent Alice look or you go with the Crazy Intense Queen of Hearts look, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any requests for future videos, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!